This is one of my favourite spots uh, heading north uh, along the coast. All the black iron sand. Seas a bit rough. We've been having quite a bit of wind the last week or so. Fairly bad weather here. Quite a bit of rain, but not today. Today it's it's overcast, but uh, rain hasn't come yet. Yeah, so how do I uh, tie the bike down? Is I have a rear tie to stop the back wheel dancing around. That's uh, eyed into the floor of the trailer. Then I have a another tie down that goes around the forks. One side to the other, over to here. Then I have another tie down for each of the handlebar sides. And to prevent my tie downs chafing through on the steel, I normally pack a little bit of plastic here. Because you, uh, you won't believe it, but uh, I have had that happen. Uh, where the, uh, the tie down has uh, ripped and torn and because of the chafing on the edge of the uh, steel even though it's a, a smooth edge it just uh, has that continual rubbing over, over a period of, of the rip also I, I get a bit carried away here I tie down my tie downs with tape to stop them from ever swinging open and uh, I've been doing that for quite a few years now I've had no problems doing that and I also like to tie uh, up my loose end of my tie downs uh, with some insulation tape as well. Uh, being, an, being an electrician, of course, I have no shortage of insulation tape. And as you guys probably know, there's 101 uses for insulation tape. Even if you cut your finger, makes, makes a pretty good plaster. Oh, also, uh, in the front of my wheel chock here, uh, I use a, uh, uh, what do we call these here, uh, uh, a lock, it's, a, uh, it's a, um, a wire lock held in by this U-bolt uh, here and it's a lock here. I wrap it around tight around the front wheel so that if, if everything all broke off the bike will still stay with the trailer. Um, pretty much still stays upright as well because the chock uh, actually does hold the bike upright. So I feel I'm pretty secure for um, uh, the, you know, long trips because you can get a lot of bad bumps, uh, potholes and the trailer can really dance and you want to be able to have uh, a good secure load. But the bike's in pretty good condition compared to some projects I've had to deal with and I'm going to have a, I'll strip it down completely of course. As you know I've got a brand new seat for it and um, a bit of new chain and sprockets on it and all that sort of thing. I just noticed here that the chain guard here is, looks like it's a bit munted so I'll pick up a new one of those. But it's not in bad condition, 2008, bit of surface rust on the frame but nothing that can't be dealt with. So yeah we're going good, uh, trip's going really nice. Really great to see the sea rolling in. I'm going to start heading inland shortly so I won't be seeing any more of this coast for a while. Uh, and in a few hours time I should be getting closer to Auckland. If you're ever thinking about a fairly well priced uh, tow vehicle I think you should look at the Santa Fe. I've been up to Korea and been through the Hyundai uh, site, the plant, where they do the building of the Hyundais and also the shipyards up there. And I can tell you right now that uh, Hyundais are built tough. However you want to pronounce the name, these things are tough. This particular model is my favourite. I'm not so uh, attached to the new shapes. I think this was actually their more solid vehicle, uh, slightly bigger in some proportions too to the brand new ones and having the V6 with the all-wheel drive I prefer that to the four-cylinder and I'm not really into the four-cylinder diesel. So yeah, uh, when I decide to move on from this it's going to be a, a bit of a difficult decision. Um, 
maybe a Palisade. Uh, if I can find a V6 Palisade, I would be interested in one of those. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll move on further up the road and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.